What up, guys? And welcome to the Web Search Must See Comic and Nerd Culture Show. Welcome to the Comic Universe. I'm Dr. J. I've got a PhD in Nerd Culture, and I should know. I figured it out myself. Welcome back, you guys. Another week, another bunch of anime to cover. Welcome back to the next episode of Dr. J's Otaku Outbreak, week two of summer 2019. Now, just a heads up, this will probably be my last video for a couple weeks because I'm going on vacation for the next two weeks but I will be back um, after that of course and I will return and I'll probably just do two follow-up videos instead of having to like crunch two weeks worth of anime plus you know the week that is currently happening together in one video I'm probably just gonna upload two separate otaku outbreak episodes uh, to cover the two weeks of anime that I do miss, but I will be back. I just wanted to let you guys know that before we get started. But, you know, if you guys are new to this segment, this is the weekly segment where I talk about the anime that came out. Usually this comes out on the weekend, but I was a little busy preparing for the vacation, so normally this will come out on like a Sunday, but um, this segment comes out on Sundays usually, and this is where I would talk about all the anime that came out this past week and so this week we're mainly talking about the second episodes of most of these seasonal anime as well as the first episode of an anime that I have been waiting for that I'm super excited to talk about of course we're going to talk about this in release order and I will leave time codes in the description if you want to skip to a portion talking about a specific show you want to hear my thoughts on. Of course, I do full reviews over on my main channel, Mr. J's Reviews, so if you want more in-depth, detailed reviews of those particular episodes, they'll be in the card up here. But this version, the Otaku Outbreak version, will be more of just kind of a quick spoiler-free blurb in case you want to just get the gist of the episode without any spoilers. But if you want more full, fleshed out reviews, check out the ones in the card that are on my main channel. But, okay, let's go ahead and get started with our first show. The first show we're going to be talking about, of course, is Magical Senpai Episode 2. So, what can I say about this anime that I haven't already said? Seriously, this anime is a lot of fun. It is the perfect amount of cringe. Just enough to where, like... It hurts a little inside, but like also it's hilarious. It's kind of the same appeal as like YouTube fail compilations, right? Because that's literally all she does. I'm not gonna really go into detail about all the different vignettes and the different things that happened in the episode because that's what you know my main review is for. But let's just say Senpai uh, shows off a little bit more of her exhibitionist side in one of the vignettes. And uh, you know, if things had gone worse, she might have gotten arrested. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Overall, this show still has me cracking up. It's only a short, so really I don't have, like, nearly as high of a bar for it as the regular comedies, you know, that I watch regularly. So, I still enjoy it. Personally, I have a lot of fun with it. But, you know, it's honestly one you could skip if you wanted to. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the next show, shall we? The next show is, of course... How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift, Episode 2. Why don't you try some protein? So, pretty much, this episode is about Hibiki continuing her training and, like, learning kind of other basic principles of weight training and exercise and different things like that. One thing that really surprised me is that apparently stretching before exercises can actually hurt you and it's actually much more detrimental than most people think. It's apparently a common misconception that stretching before exercises like the normal way, like the hamstring stretches, actually help you they don't help you at all they hurt you apparently and the best way to stretch and limber up your muscles before exercise is actually like the radio calisthenics that like old ladies do so the more you know also in this episode we get to learn even more about Akea. 
you know, Hibiki's best friend that we saw in the first episode that was the one who called her chubby in the first place, which inspired her to join the gym. So we get to find out more about her, and I gotta say she's pretty awesome. She is definitely a contender for best girl for this show, and I can't wait to see more of her. If you want to hear more about my thoughts on the episode, just check out my full review on my main channel, linked up in the card. But let's go ahead and move on to the next show, shall we? All right, so next up on the list is, of course, Dr. Stone Episode 2. Now, I was super excited for this one. This is the moment I was hyping up last week. Man, we got the introduction of Tsukasa Shishio, and that dude is a pure and utter badass and I cannot wait to see more of him this is where our first real ideological conflict of the series happens and it pretty much sets up one of the big ongoing conflicts of the series going forward so it's definitely a big one I really loved how well they handled this big moment and I can't wait to talk about it more. If you want to hear a more in-depth explanation, like I said, check up in the card for my full review of the episode on my main channel. But all right, let's go ahead and talk about Don Machi because Don Machi is back, baby. Let's go. It's finally here, folks. I get to talk about Don Machi season two. So first things first, my fears were not met and JC staff did bring their A game for Don Machi season two. The animation still looks great. The fight scenes still look great. Now, of course, this was just your setup episode. Get uh, you to be reintroduced to all the characters, Belle, Lily, Welf, Ainz, Hestia, Loki, Hermes, all the gods and goddesses and stuff like that, and all the other different adventurers of the different familias. So that's pretty cool. Of course, it's always lovely seeing Hestia again, our wonderful, wonderful goddess. Hestia is bestia, just look at that chestia, as I like to say. And this episode mainly introduces us to Apollo and the Apollo Familia, who it seems will be an antagonistic force for this arc and possibly this season. Definitely looking forward to it. We all know, if you're familiar with Greek mythology, that Apollo is one of the most petty and vindictive gods in the entire Greek pantheon, which is saying something because the Greek gods in general are pretty petty and spiteful to begin with. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what happens, especially with the cliffhanger at the end of the episode. If you want more details and a full review, definitely, like I said, check out the card in the link up there to check out my full review over on my main channel. But now, let's go put out some fires and talk about Fire Force. With Fire Force Episode 2 this week, it's more world building and we get to find out more information about how exactly the Fire Soldier program actually works. And in this episode, we get the introduction of Arthur Boyle, Shinra's rival from the Fire Force Academy. So that's pretty interesting. You know, he is the Sasuke to Shinra's Naruto, except Arthur's blonde and Shinra has black hair. You know, the Goku, Vegeta, standard shonen rival dynamic. I know you see the Naruto and Sasuke figures in the background there, so you know I am quite familiar with this trope. And you know what? I don't mind it at all. They have some pretty fun interactions, and we get to learn even more about some of the members of the unit, and also we get to see what kind of leader Captain Obi is. Like I said, you know the drill by now. If you want a full in-depth review of this episode, be sure to check the card for the link to the review I did over on my main channel. But overall, this is such a good series, man. It's really drawing me into the world and I'm really enjoying it so far. Definitely check out Fire Force. Last, but certainly not least, we are going to be talking about the first three episodes of Vinland Saga, the series I've been hyping up for a while now. So, 
It would have been on last week's episode of the Otaku Outbreak, but I decided to upload Otaku Outbreak week one on Saturday into Sunday like I had originally planned. So instead, I'm putting the first three episodes of Vinland Saga on this week's episode instead. So these episodes pretty much give us like one kind of mini movie setting up the premise of the entire series. Essentially, like I said before, this is Vikings the anime, and it gives a historical dramatization of the Viking explorer Thorfinn and his childhood and, you know, the story with his father Thors and how his father Thors was a soldier in one of Ragnar's son's armies. He quit the life of being a soldier, much like uh, Roroni Kranchin and like the classic like samurai wandering warrior trying to start a new peaceful life story. And, of course, like all those stories go, he gets dragged back into the life, but now his son is there with him. So it's got a little bit of extra stakes. This is done by the same studio that did Attack on Titan Studio Wit. So the animation is beautiful. The action scenes are breathtaking. Loved all the character designs. I love the world itself. It feels very much like Vikings, so if you're into that show, you will definitely love this anime. It's great. For some reason, this one doesn't actually drop weekly. I think because they dropped the first three episodes, they're going to wait a few weeks before they start dropping the weekly single episode releases. So we'll have to wait a bit. But those first three episodes are awesome. You can watch Vinland Saga on Amazon Prime. Now, the other anime that I have you know, mentioned in this video, of course, are all available on Crunchyroll, with the exception of How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift, which is available on Funimation now. So definitely check all those out. Do not skip out on Vinland Saga just because it's on Amazon Prime. If you have an Amazon Prime account, you can watch it, so there is no excuse. So that pretty much wraps up Dr. J's Otaku Outbreak Week 2. What did you guys think of this batch of episodes? What are you guys watching in the summer 2019 anime season? Uh, let me know all your thoughts and feels in the comments down below as always. Don't forget to Hulk smash that like button. It really does help spread these videos around. Make sure the algorithm, you know, shares them everywhere. So it really does help us out. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time myself, DPZ, or C-Dubs uploads a new video. And real quick before I go, I want to end this on a somewhat more serious note. Now, you guys should know if you've seen any of Dubs' videos, and I'm sure you saw the one he uploaded yesterday. Our boy Mikey, man. Mikey is the channel's like unofficial official mascot we all love mikey and of course he means the world to dubs and his wife taylor so please be sure to go into the description if you haven't already and check out the gofundme page to help mikey out the poor baby is sick and he needs our help even if you can't donate to the gofundme it really helps to just share it around. Let's help our boy, please. You know, I'm not the type to beg, but this is a serious situation here. So I just want to throw that out there at the end to just ask you guys out of the kindness of your heart to help out Mikey. And so far, a lot of you guys have, and that's great. I am so thankful. You guys are the best. Again, he's not my dog, but you know, Craig is my bro, man. Both Craig and Taylor are really close friends, and it breaks my heart to see them so, like, down and distressed, because that's pretty much their son, man. So, please, if you have the money, or if you just have the time and are able to share it around, please, just share it around. You don't have to donate, but if you can, it's much appreciated. So, on that note, I will see you guys in two weeks after my vacation. But until then, like I always say, once a comic book geek, always a comic book geek. And once no taku, always no taku. And hopefully, once I'm back, I'll see you guys next time in the universe. Peace.